WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Monday morning, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we got markets starting off to the downside. Right now, you got the Dow off 51 points, trading at 27,999. The Dow had been up about 150 points pre-market coming into things. S&P now negative 12 points. That had been positive about 12 points. We'll pull up the charts in a moment. S&P is trading 31.28. NASDAQ negative by 65 points, trading at 85.99. The Russell basically flat, trading at 16.24. And as you see the chart of the S&P up there, we were as high as 31.58 pre-market. Talk about a little bit of a sell-off. Now trading 31. 25 folks that is 35 s p points almost we're approaching in a heartbeat we'll pull up the vix to start things off the volatility index as you may expect trading higher 1373 in that volatility index as the s p's pull back a bit to start monday trading jumping over to the indices we'll start it off with the dow currently trading 27,957. so much for 28,000 dow and as I mentioned, we were up there at about 28,200 pre-market. So you're a solid 250 points now off the highs that we had coming into the open. NASDAQ 100, quite a sell-off as well. 83.21, we were up there at 84.56. You're talking about 130 NASDAQ 100 points, gone. S&P 500, there you go, 31.25. We mentioned we were sized 31.58 pre-market. Crude oil bouncing around a bit, currently trading at 56.31. Crew got quite a little boost last night into higher territory, actually made it up to $56.57. And there's your gold contract catching a little bit of a bid, $14.68. And the euro US dollar as well catching a bid at $110.62. In terms of what you have happening, what may be playing into some of this, new tariffs in place, Brazil and Argentina. They are getting tariffs for steel and aluminum. President Trump saying that they are devaluing their currency. What you also had in here is that Trump continuing the pressure on the Fed to cut interest rates at a time when we will get the jobs data on Friday, record unemployment, records in the stock market. The president wants a weak dollar, and he is coming after that. Brazil and Argentina with new tariffs. Stay tuned, folks. Coming back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Live programming all day at TFNN. We'll be right back.